Hey guys, what's up? It's Sophia and today I'm filming a skincare routine. This is definitely my most requested video that I ever get. Some of you guys may know if you've been following me for a while and if you're new then Hi, my name is Sophia and I have struggled with acne for a very, very long time. Very severe acne. Acne sucks. I am going to show you guys my skincare routine because I get questions all the time on what I did to my skin to clear it up. So this video is basically going to answer all of your skincare questions that you've had for me. So these are all the products that I use. The first product that I use in my skincare routine is something that might be surprising. I don't know. Some people might think it's surprising, but it is this bar of soap. This is an old fashioned oatmeal bar of soap from Whole Foods. I think it's like one or two dollars. It's very, very cheap. I don't have a Whole Foods super close to where I live. So whenever I go, I just buy like four of them and they, they last me a while. And I just wash my face with this because it's the most gentle thing. Um, and also when it comes to washing my face, I forgot to grab it. It's in my bathroom, but my Vanity Planet Spin Brush, I do use that a lot. So that's the first thing that I do. Then I come into my room. I don't know why I don't keep my skincare products in the bathroom. I just like doing my skincare routine in my room better for some reason. This depends on whether it is morning or nighttime. I want to thank Curology for sponsoring this video. I've been using Curology for about like four months now. And when I knew that I wanted to do this video, I reached out to my managers and I was like, hey, is there any way I could work with Curology on this video? Because I use them anyways. I love their products. So for my nighttime skincare routine, I use Curology. Now, Curology has really helped me to maintain my clear skin. It has really helped to even out my acne scars as well. That's something that I learned about Curology. After I got off Accutane, I was like, there's no need for me to use it. My mom was really trying to get me to do it. And I was like, there's no need, like my acne went away. And she was like, no, like just try it. The prescription is formulated just for you. So it'll help you to get rid of your dark spots. So as well as maintaining my acne so that my face doesn't break out all over the place again, it also is helping me to clear up my dark spots, which is like awesome. So basically you go on the website, it's super easy. You take pictures of your face. You have a personal dermatologist that looks at your pictures and inspects your pictures and looks at like the comments that you've made and what you said about your skin. And they make a formula that's just for your skin, specifically for your skin, which is great because that was the issue that I was having is I would go to the store and try to get these over the counter things to put on my face and they just were not tailored for my skin. They'd make me dry, they'd make me flaky, they wouldn't help my acne because it wasn't tailored for my skin. And that's what I love about Curology is that it's exactly tailored to what you need and what you want to accomplish. And I can literally tell you that my scars have lightened up so, so much since using Curology. So I just also want to reiterate, Curology didn't reach out to me to work with me and like send me their product and I try it for a couple days. I started using Curology on my own and I've been using it for about four months and I reached out to Curology to see if they would want to partner with me because I already use them and already love them. It even has your name at the top and then exactly what the dermatologist puts inside of your little formula. So I absolutely love Curology and it has helped me so much and I really would love for you guys to try it and let me know how it works for you guys because it has worked so well for me. Basically the way Curology works is you sign up and every single month they send you a bottle of your own custom formula for your own skin to help you have clear beautiful skin they send it to you every month that's also something that i love is i don't have to go out and buy a product it comes right to my door so if you guys want to sign up for curology you can use my link in the description box you get one month free trial plus four dollars 95 cents for shipping and handling I really hope you guys try it and I hope you guys love it as much as I do and let me know. I would love to see how it worked for you guys. I use this lotion. Actually, it's from Trader Joe's and it's an oil-free antioxidant facial moisturizer. It says that it's suitable for all skin types, but if you have really dry skin, this is probably not the best for you because it is um, pretty like liquidy. 
Um, it's not the thickest moisturizer, but for me, I have combination skin, so it's really nice because it moisturizes the drier parts of my skin, but also doesn't make the oily parts of my skin super oily. So if you have oily skin or combination skin, this is probably great. I really like this moisturizer, super kind of random, just from Trader Joe's. I think it's somewhere around the $15 range. It might not be, it might be less, it might be a little more, but it's not too crazy expensive and it lasts a long time. This is the second bottle that I've bought. I've used a whole other bottle and I think it lasted me like over six months. So it lasts a long time. So for both morning and night, I use the oatmeal bar to wash my face. In the morning, I use my Oatmeal bar first. I applied the same moisturizer. Now, I hate that I have to like talk about this product because it is expensive. This is the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. It is a phenomenal sunscreen, but it's $65. I am not a person to go spend excessive amounts of money on like a product that's just not how I am that's not like I just don't do that but the reason I got this sunscreen is because my face is very very sensitive to sunscreens now sunscreen is very important especially if you have acne that's one of the key things that has helped in lightening up my dark spots and my acne scars because the sun is literally your worst enemy when it comes to acne scars it darkens up any dark spots it'll make them darker it'll make them more permanent it's just the sun is very very bad for your skin even if you think like oh i'm not going to the beach today i don't have to apply sunscreen literally when you're driving in the car and the sun is hitting your face it's doing damage you have to put on sunscreen every single day and i always used to get annoyed that like every single person ever would always be like you have to wear sunscreen you have to wear sunscreen if you want your acne scars to not be really bad you need to wear sunscreen i would get so annoyed but then i went to school for skincare and i actually learned how bad the sun is for your skin please take it from me the sun is so bad for your skin wear sunscreen please it doesn't have to be a 65 dollars sunscreen any face sunscreen that i used on my skin my skin would burn for some reason it always burned and that was one of the reasons why i hated wearing sunscreen i got an all-natural facial when i went out to la and i told her that i had this issue with sunscreens burning and she was like i'm gonna try this natural one from tatcha and we'll see if it burns she tried it on my skin and what do you know it didn't burn and this is the first sunscreen that i've tried that doesn't burn my skin and so for me it was worth it to spend the 65 dollars i didn't buy it immediately i like saved up a little bit for it because i couldn't bring myself to just like spend 65 dollars on a freaking sunscreen i think that's absolutely ridiculous but for me it was worth it love that one last thing that i wanted to mention this is kind of random but i kind of thought of it as a part of my skincare routine chapstick I really love this Burt's Bees chapstick and I just wanted to mention it because I really like it and yeah that's it this is the pomegranate flavor I'm really grateful that my skin is where it's at and I'm also grateful for the journey that I've had with my acne because it's taught me so much about my self-esteem it shouldn't matter if you have a pimple on your face if you have 20 pimples on your face if you have 50 pimples on your face you're still beautiful it's made me not be so consumed by it whereas before i would get a pimple and i'd be like oh my gosh i'm getting a pimple this is the worst thing ever ah like everybody's gonna notice it now i i know that it's gonna go away it's just a pimple so my journey with acne has been a long one a very difficult one um, when I was probably around 12 or 13 I started getting acne I think the first time I started getting acne I have a really bad memory so I can't remember very well but I'm pretty sure when I first started getting it it was all over my forehead I had really bad acne all over my forehead and when I was younger like 12 13 I didn't care about it so much I didn't really look into it too much i wasn't that insecure about it i didn't really care all that much and then my mom was like hey your acne is getting pretty bad you should probably like do something about it i ended up using 
all these different products, all of these topical medications that the dermatologist prescribed me, nothing worked. And my mom knew that nothing was gonna work for me because um, my acne is like hereditary. My parents both had very cystic severe acne. My two older brothers have had very severe cystic acne. So it wasn't any shock to my mom that I was gonna have severe cystic acne as well. So. I went on Accutane. I know that there is controversy around Accutane. I don't really know too much about the controversy or whatever. I just know that there's controversy around it because it's such a strong medication. It is very strong, probably so bad for you. It was kind of a personal choice of, did I wanna have acne or did I not wanna have acne? And even though the, the medicine was really strong, my acne was really bad and that was the only thing that would help at the time. So I just went on it after six months, cleared up my skin. It was good. That was it. Then a couple years went by, probably two years, and I had severe acne again. I was 13 when, on Accu when I went on Accutane the first time. I think I was 14 when I finished it. And then when I was 16, by the end of that year, um, as I was turning 17, it was really really bad again i have some pictures that i can put up that was my acne and it was getting really really bad and just painful i think that was the worst part for me is how painful it was my cheeks would hurt all the time and it was just very painful i hated living with that now that i was older i did care about it um when i was 13 didn't care that much it was fine and I still got rid of it with Accutane, but man, the older you get, the more insecure you get. And and around this time period is when I made my video uh, called My Biggest Insecurity. I'll put a card up um, if you guys wanna watch that video. That was the first video with acne that I made without makeup. And that was just a very big struggle and insecurity for me. I literally never left the house without makeup. I used the heaviest coverage of makeup that I could use. I hated it. I hated my acne. So I went on Accutane again. Did the six months, but that six months, it was, it was very weird. At the beginning of it, my acne got worse and then it started to go away, but it, it, it got worse the first month or two that I was on Accutane and I was like, you know what, I just have to stick it out. And now I've been off of it for about a year. A lot of people with Accutane, it's like a one-time thing, it fixes everything, they don't have to go on it again. And for me, that's just not really the case. My acne genes and my family are just so, so strong. Um, my older brothers still get acne and they've been on Accutane. I've been on Accutane twice. I still get pimples every now and then. I have a little pimple right here, but for the most part, my skin is clear and I stopped wearing makeup. After I made that video about my insecurity, I was like, you know what? Me loading on so much makeup onto my face is not helping my acne to heal. So. Once I stopped wearing makeup, even though it was so hard because my skin was still so bad, um, it just looked like red. I know I was working at a summer camp at the time that I stopped wearing makeup um, while I was still on Accutane and I worked with second graders and a few of them would ask me like, what's, what's all that on your face? And I would just be like, it's mosquito bites. I got a lot of mosquito bites. I was outside the other day or like whatever. I would just like make some like fun thing up and it didn't affect me too much because I was a lot more comfortable with myself. I think that was one of the hardest things for me was breaking through that and being like, you know what? It's acne. It'll go away or maybe it won't go away. I'll have it sometimes. I won't have it sometimes, but I have to love myself either way. As much as I didn't like it, I, I was like, I should be comfortable in my own skin. And through a lot of prayer, I was able to get to that place where I was comfortable going out in public and having little kids make comments about it and whatever. That's kind of been my my acne journey and it's still a journey because I still break out sometimes, I'll still get little bumps or whatever, but for the most part, my skin has been pretty good because I've been able to maintain it. And I think that's one of the hardest things for some people once they get off Accutane is maintaining their clear skin. The skincare routine that I've kind of formed for myself has really helped me to 
maintain my clear skin and get rid of any breakouts that I have and it's really helped to lighten up my scarring because when you have so much acne sometimes something that's really hard is to get rid of the scarring that you have and my skincare routine has really helped me to get rid of um, a pretty decent amount of my scarring. Also, I just want to acknowledge these little space buns. I don't know why I did them. I just felt like it and they're also lopsided. I have lopsided space buns and it's fine. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Yeah, that's it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!